Most computers and laptops these days use either Intel or AMD processors as their main CPU. Intel provides more single-core performance while AMD is specialized with more cores. But these CPUs are power hungry so we need a large battery. To compensate for this, Intel made the Atom line of processors which are specifically for low power usage. The good thing is that it supports the x86 architecture. For you non techy guys, that means that it supports Windows and all of its programs. So I wouldn't recommend it for gaming or rapidly intensive tasks. And also lots of mobile apps have yet to support it. And that's where ARM comes in. ARM is a company that makes processors for mobile phones. The difference between ARM and Intel is that ARM uses the RISC architecture, which is faster, more responsive, and less power hungry. ARM, even though it makes its own CPUs, they also give reference designs to big companies like Qualcomm and Apple, which change the design and other stuff to make it more powerful. Examples are their Snapdragon and Apple A chip series, which come with high-end mobile GPUs that are almost always found in the latest flagship phones. Now you are probably asking if ARM is that great, why don't we use it in, in desktops? Well the answer is that ARM is not that good at resource heavy tasks, but is much faster at stim simple stuff like uh, mathematical operations, simple resource management, and stuff like that. Also, Windows is not compatible with ARM and so is the hardware a desktop uses. Microsoft did make a Windows version for ARM CPUs, Windows CE. No one used it then so it was in the wrong place in the wrong time. ARM is more friendly to Linux systems like Android so you can probably get to work with any digital but you would need to make modifications to the original installer. In 2015 and 2016, ARM has actually somehow with the help of Google's Chromium OS got a shot in the PC market. An actual operating system that will natively run on ARM and also x86 Intel AMD CPUs. This is a major breakthrough for computing. Chrome OS is based on Linux, so it will natively run fast uh, even on older PCs with 2 gigabits of RAM or less. Also, by some rumors, Qualcomm and Microsoft are partnering together to work to bring AR ARM support to Windows 10, so you assume I might start seeing ARM CPCs popping up everywhere. Thanks for watching this explanation video. If you aren't subscribed already, subscribe now and don't forget to like this video. I run a small web blog, so you'll put a link to it in the description. Bye.